Alrighty, it is road trip time. This was not part of my original plan because I was working on my room and I'm doing a room transformation thingamabobber and painting another mural on my wall. What a surprise. But my parents thought it would be best that I go with them on the road trip to go to Utah first to visit my sisters and then my mom is going off to Arizona because she is fixing up a house there. Fixing up a house rented out, I think. I'm gonna give you a quick sneak peek of what I'm working on. Do you see it? We were supposed to leave like six hours ago, but as you know, things happen. Poppy, can we please get burgers before we hit the road so that we have lots of energy? Mm -hmm. Seriously? Mm -hmm. What? That stuff never happens. He's never so willing to do nice things. Okay. This is gonna be a great road trip. So I'm testing out the truck because yes, we did rent out a Hugh Mungo truck. Not like a semi truck, but a pretty big moving truck because we're taking a lot of stuff from my house to the house in Arizona that my mom is fixing up. Um, this is not comfy and I am going to have to get, this is very dirty. <laughs> get used to it. This doesn't lean back. This is a humongo truck and you're telling me you couldn't at least put a little bit of room here for this chair to lean back? I'm not complaining, I'm just disappointed. Let's just get familiar with the space here. Touch it. That's very nice. Fresh scent and you are gonna get the half eyebrowed version of me throughout this entire thing because I did. I have said this before. Well, I just love the decision I made by shaving off half of my eyebrow. I recommend that everyone does it. I'm just waiting on everyone. What am I even doing in this truck? I don't want to spend any more time that I have to in this thing. Well, I'm less thing, and then we're really going to be like, Road trip. So I thought I would join the club of having like a one of these, okay? Because they, they're like really soft and heavy and warm. but I have never had something in my possession such as this that makes me feel so. I'm trying to like show you that I have my hand on my hip. Hi. You know, that's really, I don't know how I feel about it. It's not bad. It's just, okay, bye. Ready for our road trip. So we're on the road, it's been like five seconds, and um, I already have a very high level of anxiety because this thing is huge and I'm very scared because neither of my parents are experienced big truck drivers. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yes, we are. We're good. No. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna survive driving I mean, the entire the roads, country in this thing. The roads are huge, we'll be fine. <laughs> I don't like that. Anyways, we're getting the burgers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Kiss. Tasty poppy. And I still have anxiety because this truck is very large and it's very scary. But this is a very good treat to get the trip started. Is there something in my nose? No. Am I all the reasons that you want to go? Am I old? It's now been an hour. The food is digesting in my tummy. You're on an we should be. I came well prepared as I do every single time that I go on a road trip. I have books, I have shows downloaded, art. I have art because so I'm going to do an art thing. Maybe I'll see how I can manage to paint something and be in a car at the same time. Which is funny to me because normally like me lounging around the house I'm like I don't want to do anything. I can't handle it. It gives me anxiety and then not doing anything also gives me anxiety but doing something does give me anxiety so that I'm just like all the time but then I go on a road trip and I'm like whoa 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 you're telling me all I have to do is sit there I can't do that I need to be able to write an autobiography no you don't write an autobiography yourself you just write a biography no, the autobiography you did yourself. Uh, okay I need to write a biography I need to be able to read books I need to be able to do everything and any everything because I can't just sit there you just gotta make stuff an autobiography is for yourself I know that's what I said that's a little twisted. If I'm at home, I don't want to do anything, but if I'm on the road when I, all I have to do is nothing, then I need to do something. If that didn't make sense. That does, makes sense. Does it make sense? Okay. My back is uh, kind of in pain because this thing is just like straight up. Can we show them your illegal <laughs> contraption? <laughs> is that the word contraption? Wait. Concoction? That is exactly the word. But making it ready. Wait. It, no, no, no. Actually, if it came like this, it would even be so, my mom made this herself. <laughs> oh, cute lady. So yeah, look at that. So innovative. Shall I demonstrate it? Yeah, show okay. us how it works. So let's say someone slams on the brakes. Boom. See? 
You're secure. I'm secure. You might break your collarbones. You could. It was but don't you break your collarbones anyways, really? But yeah, you often do. Okay, it's now been two hours or something. Got my mommy resting beside me. I forget that I live in Wisconsin, okay? And Wisconsin, at least the way that I see it, consists of two major cities, Milwaukee and Madison, and then the rest is a bunch of farms. And I forget that there's just a bunch of farms and like people live on farms. And that is so cool because I have no idea how that is or what that's like. Like to wake up and then there's animals and like a bunch of land around you. I wanna live on a farm for like a week. I should make a video out of it. Go live on a farm, see what it's like. Wake up at 4 a.m. or something. I think that's what they do. Go feed some chickens or I don't know, get hay and feed the cows. Might be the life for me. Okay, this is some, uh, some of my thoughts. This is what I'm looking at right now. And seriously, also, I just forget that uh, all you really need to do on a road trip is look out the window. And um, that actually is what I do majority of the time. Is I just look at the trees, look at the leaves, look at the grass. Do you wanna, do you wanna join me? Let's do it together. Look at that. I can do this for hours. Took a nice nap. Okay, bye. How long was I sleeping? It felt like 10 hours. This isn't to be said to attack any particular human being. You don't see it. No, I need to. Nebraska is the worst for one reason, and then all the other reasons, I don't know. Okay? I'm sure it's great. Is that why do you have to be so long? <laughs> That's great. Why does it? And why does this have to be my view the entire time? <laughs> The food that goes into your plate. This is crazy. You die. And last night at 4am we were driving through a town called Bellevue, Nebraska. I am deeply disappointed. I don't know anything about Bellevue except the vibes that it was giving me at 4am. And all I can say is that I wish I grew up there. There was a really, 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 really cute thrift store. Wait, Amanda, so you don't want to drive through Nebraska, you just want to live there? Just does. I feel like I missed out on some lovely teenager shenanigans shenanigans by not growing up there. But who knows? Maybe it would have been like ladybird type thing and I would have wanted to go move to New York City and get in tens of thousand dollars of debt. I don't know. Where are we? Kearney. So I'm feeling sicky poo, but I just ate a sandwich and drank some water. So I'm hoping I don't feel sicky poo anymore. Whoa, I should put my contacts in because the world is just so much not as good when I don't. Can I do that quickly? Actually, it's on the side. I kind of like it blurry because then my wrinkles so, don't show up as much. Because then when you look in the mirror, you don't see your wrinkles. You feel the... It's odd. I can see, but when I look at the screen on the camera, like I can't, it doesn't focus. Let's make a thumbnail, hit parents. So I'm gonna put this on. I'm not in that camera eating, am I? You sure are. Ugh, mercy. I can cut you out, Mom. You wanna get in it, Mom? <laughs> Cuties. So, Poppy, you've heard TikTok, have you? So on TikTok, there's some videos and they make fun of dads, and I would like to see if you qualify, okay? Do you ever feel the need to check if things are sturdy? Like around the house? Yeah? When someone is eating snacks in the back of the car, do you demand snacks as well? With putting your hand back there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yes. And when you do have snacks, like a nice pile of nuts, or what else is there? Candy, M&Ms. You gotta give a good little shake before you put it in your mouth. I don't shake But you yes, do you like do. to do a huge handful and just... Like a little, like a little. Yeah, I know, I know, sure. I've seen that plenty of times. Okay, okay, yeah. I think you made that one up, actually. I'm the inventor of that one. <laughs> and are you paranoid about oil in the car? Um, I think about it, yes. You think about it? But I know I wouldn't call me paranoid. In other words, if I were to drive a diesel Mercedes, yes. Okay. Because they use more oil and I'm aware of it. But some cars are really good, so but, I, but it is connected to me. It's not that I ignore it. I am connected to that idea. Okay. And can you fall asleep? In most places? Yeah. Yeah. He's a dad. Do I do I qualify? Yes. You're a dad. Yep. That's a face I'm very familiar with. 
Okay. Frail heart, are we worlds apart? Oh, but your bloodline. We're still in Nebraska. Barely. Real in Wyoming, real soon. Good. All right, we're in Wyoming. Thank goodness I cannot handle Nebraska for any longer. We are in the final stretch, kind of. Not really the final stretch. We're still very much so just road tripping because we have seven more hours. So it's not really the final stretch. And I'm just gonna be sitting here. My mom thinks I'm funny. Just one of the few. Okay. Okay, still in Wyoming. Five hours away from the destination. I'm complaining. I don't want to complain. I'm fine. Let's do some stretches. I don't think I want to talk to you again, like once we're like on the road, because I'm getting, I'm busy watching Avatar. Does that mean I'll see you once we're there. I'll put some, some like montage, something cute. Cue the montage. People in the store are eyeing us. Really? They want us to leave? Well, there's a sign that says one hour parking maximum. <laughs> we were gonna sleep here, but I guess not anymore. Terrible things have happened. Terrible, terrible thing. We pulled off to the side of the road to a parking area. Can you hear the trucks driving by? And uh, my parents went to the back because we have a couch back there that we're taking and they're sleeping on the couch. And I'm up here in case that they get stuck back there, okay? But it is freezing and I have shorts on. This whole entire video is just me complaining, I think. At least that's like all I can remember. But I'm just trying to update you on what's going on and this is how I feel in my heart. I'm freezing and I really, really have to go pee, like so badly, but it's raining outside so I can't go pee and I'm really cold. <laughs> it's dark and I'm in the middle of nowhere with a bunch of trucks around me. That's pretty scary. Look at me. I'm a trooper. What? I need to update you on that experience of mine. My parents got back up to the front and then I was, I really had to pee. Like it was so, so, so bad, but it was pouring rain, super cold. And I was like, well, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the edge of the road and I'm gonna pee too. So she held up a blankie to cover me from the other trucks. But you know what I learned from this experience? I want to experience stuff like that more. Like it was so, it was awful, but it was also great because I just felt like I was doing fun stuff, like being in the cold and the rain on the side of the road in the middle of Wyoming at 4 a.m., you know? Okay. The surprises never cease to end. It is snowing. It is midway through June in Wyoming and it's snowing. I thought Wisconsin was bad. This is horrific. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. And I have some fun videos coming and I really do apologize. It's been so long since I last uploaded. But there's some stuff coming with my sister and my other sister. By the way, if you live like in the West, any place that's warm, okay, appreciate it. Appreciate it. This type of weather never, like, if this, if there was a day like this in Wisconsin, that would be a treasure and a gift to honor, okay? And this is just how it is every day here. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay. Bye-bye.